Good evening, and welcome to Eastern Kentucky University's Spring 2019 Commencement Exercises. We here at Eastern Kentucky University care about your safety. Please note the location of the emergency exits. In the event of an emergency, calmly walk, do not run to the nearest exit, and move away from the building to allow emergency personnel access. At this time, we would like to remind you to please silence your cell phones. Thank you.
This evening, we honor degree candidates in the College of Business and Technology, which is under the leadership of Dean Thomas Erickson. Now, please rise for the presentation of the National Colors and join Ms. Cheyenne Jennings in the singing of our national anthem. Please remain standing as Ms. Jennings performs My Old Kentucky Home.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Dean of the College of Business and Technology of Eastern Kentucky University, Dr. Thomas Erickson. Good evening. Please be seated. As we begin, please join with me in thanking Ms. Cheyenne Jennings, a 2014 EKU alumna from Danville, for our wonderful renditions. And can we have a nice round of applause for the EKU Symphony Orchestra under the direction of Jeremy Mulholland for providing our music this evening. We're very pleased to have with us this evening the 13th President of Eastern Kentucky University, Dr. Michael T. Benson. Dr. Benson, we would be most pleased if you would share a few words. Good evening and congratulations, graduates. What a privilege and honor it is to share this occasion with you, the spring 2019 graduates from the College of Business and Technology and we welcome your families and friends to our campus. I've come to know many of you soon to be graduates personally, but even if today marks the first time I shake your hand, rest assured that our faculty, our staff, my colleagues and I have closely followed your progress, and today we feel just as proud as your parents do. Every year our students prove that they can compete favorably on the national and even international stage. This year is no different. This testifies to the quality of our students and to the exemplary teaching and mentoring they receive from our outstanding faculty. Our faculty are second to none, and our staff are every bit their equal. As most of you know, these are challenging times for higher education in Kentucky and in many states across the country. But the good news for you is that your investment in EKU is already beginning to pay big dividends. Many of you have already landed good jobs in your field. Others of you are ready to enter a very strong job market or go to graduate school and enter a school that is eager to embrace your knowledge, your skills, your work ethic, and your ability to think creatively and critically. One recent business and technology graduate wrote to tell us this, quote, after graduation, I had no problem finding a full-time job. In fact, I had so many job offers that it was more stressful figuring out which one I could go with. I wish that problem on each and every one of you. Whether you grew up in a big city or 30 miles from the closest stoplight, whether your family was wealthy or struggled to put food on the table, whether you experienced an idyllic childhood or endured all kinds of hardship, whether you're the first in your family to attend college or just the latest in a long line, you all share a special bond. You are soon to be an esteemed graduate of Eastern Kentucky University, and that is your passport to untold opportunities. As Bill Keen, cartoonist for the Family Circus comic strip, once said, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift from God, which is why they call it the present. So enjoy today, enjoy every single embrace, Save, savor every single snapshot, and celebrate this maroon letter day as a truly remarkable marker along your life's journey. But when Monday rolls around and you begin to take those next bold steps, know that you have been given a significant present. Yes, this EKU degree and all it represents will enrich your lives in ways that are both immeasurable and tangible. But we are also told to whom much is given, much is required. Just as surely as your Eastern experience has shaped your own trajectory, you now have the capacity and the responsibility to enrich the lives of others. In conclusion, I want you to consider this admonition from Mother Teresa. She said this, let no one ever come to you without leaving better and happier. Be the living expression of God's kindness. Kindness in your face, kindness in your eyes, and kindness in your smile. I suggest to you today what I have found to be true in my own life that your happiness is governed not so much by what you get, but what you give. And I know you will want to share many of life's bounteous blessings. So congratulations, 
best wishes, and go Colonels. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, President Benson. Parents, families and friends, distinguished guests, faculty and staff, thank you for joining us to celebrate our graduates' milestone, this milestone in their lives. As we open tonight's ceremony, I would like to recognize some special individuals on the platform. Mr. Luis Diaz, Chair of the Regents from Union. Mr. Alan Long, Vice Chair of the Board of Regents from Richmond. Mr. Juan Castro, Regent from Lexington. Mr. Brian Mackinnon, Staff Regent from Richmond. Dr. Jason Marion, Faculty Regent from Richmond. Ms. Lynn Taylor Ty, Regent from Danville. Mr. Craig Turner, Chair Emeritus from Lexington. Dr. Jerry Pagajnik, Interim Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost. Dr. Skip Daugherty, Vice President of Student Affairs and Campus Life. Ms. Dana Fole, University Council. Dr. David McFadden, Senior Vice President for Operations and Strategic Initiatives. Dr. Thomas Martin, Interim Associate Vice President for Research. Ms. Amy Jo Gable, President, International Alumni Association. Dr. Ed Davis, Associate Dean of the College. Dr. Trish Isaacs, Associate Dean of the College. Dr. Marco, Marco Choka, Chair of the Faculty Senate and Mace Bearer. And special thanks to Mr. John Strada from the Department of Communications, the voice from above, and the commencement reader for this evening. Please join me in greeting our special guests and in expressing your, our appreciation for their dedicated service to EKU and to higher education. I would also like to introduce the chairs of the academic departments of the College of Business and Technology. Please hold your applause until all chairs have been introduced. From the School of Applied Sciences and Technology, Dr. Tim Ross, Lieutenant Colonel Jeremiah Corbin, and serving as Interim Chair of the Department of Agriculture, Dr. Ed Davis. And from the School of Business, Dr. Michael Roberson and Dr. Oliver Feltis. Tonight, we honor 36 master's degrees, 350 bachelor's degrees, and 36 associate degrees for a total of 422 degree candidates. At this time, we would like to recognize the contribution of those who have served this great nation. Would our veterans who are graduating this evening please stand and be recognized? <laughs> veterans who are graduating. Now, now, now would, the, would the veterans, now would the veterans who are seated in the audience also please stand and be recognized. All who are veterans, please stand. We humbly thank you for your service. You may be seated. This evening's graduates also include many who have achieved academic distinction. We're proud of all those who are graduating with honors, but I want to recognize this at this time a few groups in particular. If you would please, again, hold your applause until everyone has been recognized. Would all of those who are graduating this evening from our nationally prominent prominent honors program as honors scholars, please stand and remain standing. Graduates are members of the honors program. Would, would, all of those, would all of those who are uh, 
graduating summa cum laude with a 3.9 GPA or higher, please stand and remain standing. Would, would, <laughs> would, the candidates, would the candidates who are graduating magna cum laude with a 3.7 to 3.89 GPA, please stand and remain standing. With the, with the candidates who are graduating cum laude with a 3.5 to 3.69 GPA, also stand and remain standing. Now, okay. now, would all of those graduates who are members of EKU's highest multidisciplinary honor society Phi Kappa Phi, please also stand. Let us honor all of these outstanding student scholars. Please join me in applause. Please be seated. Congratulations as well to all the others who are graduating with honors this evening. For more than a century, Eastern Kentucky University has been known as a school of opportunity, and we will always be proud of that distinction. I'm particularly pleased to acknowledge this evening the many first-generation college graduates who are earning a degree. This means that neither they, nor their, their, their parents, nor anyone in an earlier generation was a college graduate. Will all of the candidates who are the first in their generation in their families to earn a college degree, please stand. And let you, I want to let you know I, too, am a first-generation college graduate. Let us applaud your accomplishments. First-generation students, stand. Please, please be seated. Eastern Kentucky University has strong family ties. Some of our graduates' parents and even grandparents have graduated from EKU. Will all of our multi-generational candidates, along with their alumni parents and grandparents, please stand and be recognized? Multi-generation. Please, please be seated. This is also the time we recognize the many others who have contributed to, to the success of these candidates with resources, with encouragement, with occasional cajoling, love, and understanding. Now I ask the following to stand as you are recognized and remain standing so that we may honor you as a group. Will the, <clears throat> will the parents of the candidates for graduation please stand? Parents? Will the spouses of the candidates please stand? Will, will the grandparents of the candidates please stand? Will the children and other family members of the candidates please stand? Will the faculty, faculty and staff who have instructed and served these candidates please stand? Faculty and staff? Now, degree candidates, Degree candidates, please join me in showing your appreciation for those very important people in your lives with a generous round of applause. Please be seated. This spring, a member of the graduating class has been selected for the honor of presenting the Student Convocation Address. Tonight, that honor belongs to Caroline Storr from Union, Kentucky. She is earning a Bachelor of Business Administration in Computer Information Systems tonight with a minor in International Business. Words like highly motivated, determined, and passionate describe Carolyn and her level of involvement in the EKU community. She's a member of Chi Omega Fraternity, Order of Omega Honor Society, Beta Gamma Sigma, International Business Honor Society, and Student Activities Council, having served as treasurer for the last year. In addition to her extracurricular involvement on campus, Caroline has consistently worked part-time 
while earning her degree. She took advantage of the opportunity to gain work experience related to her field by completing an internship last spring, and she was awarded the Outstanding Intern of the Year for 2017-18. She also spent last summer in Austria participating in the Kentucky Institute for International Studies. Carolyn's academic performance has been exceptional since her arrival at EKU in the fall of 2015. She consistently earned the Dean's List and the President's Award for her outstanding work. Tonight, she graduates magna cum laude with an impressive 3.87 GPA. You will also notice her maroon motor board. She is graduating as, uh, as an Honors Scholar. After diligent and thorough research, preparation and guidance from her faculty advisor, she presented her thesis, Cracking the Code, How to Close the Gender Gap in Information Technology. Her research is relevant to STEM programs across the nation. Carolyn has recently accepted a position in the IT field with the company 2U, an educational technology company that partners with colleges and universities to bring their courses and programs online. She'll be relocating to Denver, Colorado in the near future to start her new position in just a few weeks. Congratulations, Carolyn. <laughs> sharing sharing, uh, sharing Karen, uh, Carolyn's special day are her mother and father, Allison and John Stewart, two brothers, William and Elliot, aunt and uncle, Louise and John Rayfield, and aunt and uncle, Leslie and Jeff Dandoy. I know that they are all proud of Carolyn, as are we. It is my privilege and pleasure now to introduce the student speaker for this evening's convocation, Carolyn Stirr. Good evening. Thank you, friends, families, and faculty for coming out to celebrate this momentous day with us, the class of 2019. Allow me to begin by expressing my gratitude to those who have given me the honor of representing the College of Business and Technology tonight. I am deeply humbled, grateful, and excitingly nervous for this opportunity. I also want to thank those who have accompanied me on this journey I started four years ago, to my classmates for their support and encouragement, and to my many professors for their guidance and life advice, especially Dr. Robert Mahaney. He has been my professor, mentor, and strong supporter of mine through the years, and I cannot thank him enough. But most of all, I want to thank my parents for their unconditional love, their counsel, and of course, their liquid assets, as we say in the business world. Today is a big day for them too, not only because I'm graduating, but because they can now finally kick me off of their payroll. <laughs> As I sat Googling how to give a memorable, hopefully even life-changing speech, I soon realized I should probably write from the heart, perhaps talk about my college experience a little. But I wondered, what about my college experience will leave an impact on my fellow classmates? What can I say that will stick with them even after we finish partying through the night? <laughs> to start, I came up with a theme. I searched inward for a concept that we could all relate to that also speaks to me on a personal level. I soon discovered something that has woven itself into my experiences and hopefully many others and will continue to do so long after we walk across this stage. This is my story of personal evolution. I came to Eastern Kentucky University to study computer information systems with a concentration in network management. It's a bit of a mouthful, I know. My dad and I visited EKU's College of Business and Technology to learn about the CIS program in the spring of 2015. I've always been a bit tech savvy and the benefits of this degree sounded promising, so I threw caution to the wind and dove right in. My freshman year, I blended in with the rest of the first year students. I suffered through the gen eds, graduates, I'm sure you can relate. I joined a sorority and some clubs. I won student life bingo a few times and was slowly finding my footing as a college student. Sophomore year was much of the same, more gen eds and more bingo wins. <laughs> a shift in my personal involvement did not occur until my junior year when I hunkered down. I got an internship. I started my upper level CIS courses and my honors thesis. 
Things were getting more serious as the real world was gradually approaching. This was also a time when I began to feel uncertain in the direction of my career path. I was now one of a few females, or in some instances the only female, in my CIS classes, and I felt intimidated. I started to question my capabilities in being a woman entering a male-dominated field, and it scared me. Luckily, I was able to transfer my worries and anxieties into something tangible, my honors thesis. I decided to research why women in IT are underrepresented in the classroom and in the workplace. I wanted to get in touch with women who may have been in my shoes once, uncertain of the role they should play in the tech world. After surveying over 150 women who may have been or currently are in an IT profession, it gave me solace to know I was not alone. Throughout their careers in IT, many have faced various barriers but seldom let any stop them from their pursuits. These women from around the world unknowingly became inspiring role models to me, and for that, I am forever thankful for this opportunity I was given. I presented my thesis with pride. It gave me the boost I needed to take on my future rather than shy away from it. This boost remained with me as I studied abroad in Austria this past summer. To say this experience has contributed to my personal involvement would be an understatement. I studied some, made new friends, ate new foods, and found myself seeing the world in a whole new light. So, if your hopes are to go far or to step outside your comfort zone, I applaud and admire you. You will not only be testing the waters of the unknown, but expanding your personal boundaries. And as your personal boundaries expand, your comfort zone will too. That is personal evolution. So when it comes to the obstacles that lie ahead of us, we can do one of two things. We can avoid them or welcome them. We can choose to rise above them, or in my case, break that glass ceiling and grow from the lessons they may teach us. We can choose to leap over the hurdles and do so with an attitude that leads not to personal growth, but rather personal evolution. Personal evolution is not only about growing as an individual, but accepting who you are, where you come from, and where you hope to go, and letting any and all changes come naturally. We have molded our futures here, and it is now time we embrace them. Whether our futures include venturing out into the unknown or moving into our parents' basement, we are always evolving. Success may not come easy, but if we remember our roots and plan for the future, as we continue to evolve, it will be within reach. We are so fortunate to have accomplished what only 7% of the world will achieve, and that is something to be proud of. We have emerged as the smartest and most sleep deprived as we've ever been, so let's celebrate. Congratulations, class of 2019. Thank, thank you so much, Caroline. Our keynote speaker this evening is Mr. Andrew Page. Andrew earned his BBA in accounting from EKU, is a certified public accountant, and went on to earn an MBA in international business from Georgetown University. Andrew came to EKU from the Washington, D.C. area on a track scholarship, ready to start courses toward a physics degree. When doubts crept in regarding his choice in physics, Andrew's roommate an account was an accounting major. He soon found himself in EKU's School of Business learning to love the accounting profession. During his remarkable career, Andrew has accumulated over 25 years of experience in accounting and finance, proving to be a valuable resource to business. He has been able to combine two of his passions, accounting and sports, and passionate he is about his career. As Vice President and Corporate Controller at Under Armour Corporation, he played a key role in the company's growth from $1 billion in the United States to a $5 billion global leader. He then advanced in the company to the position of Senior Vice President and Chief Accounting Officer. However, he has recently accepted a new role as Senior Vice President and Chief Accounting Officer with Advanced Auto Parts in Raleigh, North Carolina, and we wish him the best in this new venture. Prior to joining Under Armour, Mr. Page served as Assistant Controller for Discovery Communications, 
General Electric, AES Corporation, and FTI Consulting. Andrew be began his career as an auditor at Ernst & Young. Proving to be an outstanding EKU alum, Andrew received the Professional Achievement Award in 2017. The College of Business and Technology was pleased to welcome him back to campus in February of 2017 as the Black History Month Distinguished Executive Speaker. And we are thrilled to have him here again to address the class of 2019. Andrew and his wife Clara have six children. Clara joins him at our ceremony this evening along with their daughters, Kaya and Ryan. Please give a warm EKU welcome to Mr. Andrew Page. Thank you, Dr. Erickson. Hello, Big E. I could not be more thrilled to be on campus. The campus beautiful. I want to thank the entire administration of the, and the College of School of Business for allowing me the honor of sharing this awesome occasion with you. I especially want to thank Dean Erickson, Sharon, uh, Sharon Thompson, and Dr. Jana Weiss for literally ushering my path to this stage almost three years ago. It was a dream of mine to speak to this crowd one day. And again, I'm humbled to actually be living that dream. Thank you. In addition, I want to thank my family who joined me. My wife is here. My two beautiful daughters are here. My extended family, William Cohen and his wife and daughter from Omega Sci-Fi, they're here and I'd like to thank you. But most of all, I'd like to thank you, the graduating class of 2019. So how did I get here? Let me correct that. How did we get here? Because I'm still EKU. I'm still graduating. I'm still exploring. I'm here on this stage specifically because of my education that I received here at EKU. During my time at EKU, it's, it's been 27 years since I left here, and I can truly say that there has been, there was a convergence of dreams and hopes, and then an explosion of opportunities that came my way as a result of being on this campus. This place has literally been a building of my foundation. I really learned a lot about life. I truly learned how to connect how to hone my skills and how to find the value in mentorship and encouragement and experience and the incomparable value in giving back. I've learned and grown so much since my days at EKU. And through the course of this time that we have together, I'd like to share some of the wisdom that was shared with me and even some that I've discovered on my own. Thanks to the people that I've met along the way, people who have taught me, who have challenged me, who've tested me, who've befriended me, who've competed with me, and most of all, have shown me the value of self-respect through caring for others. I grew up in a single-parent household with a super mom and an amazing family in a village that covered me. I cannot say enough about my mom, who was and is still my rock to this day. I found my way to Eastern Kentucky University on a track scholarship this campus quickly became my home, and luckily, as Dean Erickson talked about, I found the College of Business and an accounting degree along the way. I could go on and on about all the nuances that happened during my time leading up to coming to college or the nuances that happened when I was here, but you know what? This is about you. I'm sure each of you has a cell phone right now. It's an essential part of your attire. You need it to tweet, to snap, to Insta. You need fast, reliable service to get there. Only service from your 4G provider can get you where you need to get to. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Graduating today, you guys all need to upgrade your lives to 5G. Let me talk you through that. G number one, put God first period. 
Or as my mom used to say to me, or as my mom used to say to me, boy, you better say your prayers. You will find clarity and confidence in all of your decisions if you build a connection with God through prayer. God's grace is everything, period. Were it not for God's grace, I absolutely know that I would not be standing here today. It's not just him helping me avoid the extreme horrible things, but the day-to-day -day decisions that I've made and the incidents that have just happened to me, the things that have missed me, he snuffed them out and removed them from my path. I have literally seen doors open for me when they were all but welded shut. I've been able to observe all the miracles because I've made it a practice to pray often. Everything that you see in me that's good is because I try to maintain a daily connection with God through prayer. Keep God front and center and he, help you, and he will help you navigate this world. Do that first. G number two, identify your gift. Identifying your gift is important, and it's just as important to lean into that gift. Don't be afraid to seek greatness in the things you do. <clears throat> the things you do well are important. I'll go back one second uh, to track and field. In, the, in my neighborhood in the 1980s, nobody ran track. Everybody was in the street trying to find their own way doing things that they should not have been doing. Uh, if you did want to display some athletic prowess, you needed to do it on the basketball court. You needed to show you have game. Track, that's what I wanted to do. It was irrelevant, it was funny, it was not attractive, and that's what I did. Some of you guys will find yourselves in the same circumstances. You'll be doing things that the mainstream is not doing. The burn that you have inside about doing something in your lives that may not be the mainstream might actually be your chosen path. Don't ever underestimate the power of identifying your gift. Another example, many of you may be, may be too young to remember, but back in the heyday of Yahoo, this was a search engine that dominated the market uh, in the 1990s when the internet first became in vogue. You found things, you searched, you searched on keywords, and you used Yahoo. Larry Page and Sergey Ben were convinced that there were better ways to search by examining the number and the relevance of the links between pages, not just keywords. The Google search engine now dominates the market. The company has a market cap of over $700 billion. On a different scale, Kevin Plank, University of Maryland football player, simply wanted to make a better shirt to wear under his shoulder pads that prevented him from, that, that um, trapped moisture and wetness. He needed that for himself, but he didn't stop there. Once he realized that he had a product that no one was asking for, but could help make the lives of all athletes better, the passion that he put behind that idea is what created Under Armour, one of the world's most recognizable sports brands. G number three, set goals and work like heck until you achieve them. Once you reach those goals, set more goals with greater distance. Test your stamina. Surprise yourself with the dedication and determination you'll be able to, um, that you'll be able to muster. A man's reach should exceed his grasp. Let me tell you one thing about goals. Setting goals works. It prevents you from getting complacent and stale. Don't let the work that's required to reach your pinnacle level deter you. What you will realize is that if you're not really willing to work hard, somebody else will be. G number four, grit. Through it all, remember this. The world is not a popularity contest. You may or may not be rewarded for your actions and your input. 
<clears throat> and you may not like everyone you meet. Welcome to the real world. Build your own personal arsenal of resourcefulness. Learn how to repair yourselves. Learn how to be a strong, independent leader. Grit is the combination of passion and perseverance put behind a singular important goal. It is the hallmark of high achievers in every domain in life. When you find grit, when you find your gift, and you put a goal behind it, and you pursue it with grit, then there's no stopping you. Which brings me to the last G, give. Make sure you exercise a constant spirit of giving. It is essential to give more than you get. No matter what, the greatest satisfaction that you'll get in life will come on the back end of giving to someone else. Let me repeat that. You will never get more from anything in life than you will from giving. Ultimately, graduates, I'm here to encourage you. Take life by the horns and prosper. So when you leave here today, call your service provider, upgrade your lives to 5G. The world is now yours to make your mark. You have what it takes. <clears throat> you have the willingness, you have the drive, and you have the positive impact that you can make on your careers, your communities, and here at EKU. Here's to limitless success for you all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Andrew. And now for a very special presentation. Please welcome President Michael T. Benson back to the podium. Thank you very much, Dean Erickson. And before I make a few brief remarks, uh, Caroline, thank you so much. We're very proud of you. And uh, good luck out west. To Andrew, the five G's. Remember what they were? God, find your gift, make a goal, grit, and give. I'll remember that, Andrew, and I thank you for it. We're very grateful. Thank you, sir. It is my honor and privilege now to introduce a man who has always kept his eye on EKU's mission of being Kentucky's university and a school of opportunity. During a time of great funding challenges, Craig Turner remained steadfast in our shared vision to transform this campus into a more modern, state-of-the-art institution. An institution now that can compete with any campus in terms of beauty and technology while honoring its traditions and creating some new ones. Mr. Turner recently ended his time as chair of the Board of Regents, a position he held for the last six years. He had served as a regents, regent since 2006. His impact on this university simply cannot be overstated, as it will be felt for a long, long time. For one, he chaired the committee that hired me as the president in 2013, so well done, Craig. But Mr. Turner's initiatives have touched nearly every student on this campus. Whether it's modern residence halls, a state-of-the-art science building, the revitalization of central campus, including the new Case Dining Hall, and a new recreation center and renovated Powell Student Center, both of which will come online this fall. Craig Turner's influence can be felt all over this campus by everyone. And let's not forget our new tradition of Turner Gate. Incoming freshmen walk into EKU through Turner Gate to acquire knowledge and wisdom. When they graduate as you are today, they leave EKU with passion and purpose. These are the words that are inscribed in the columns that bear the Turner family name. I invite all of you to visit the gate and see the list of names on the front of the gate. Parents, sons, daughters, cousins, in-laws, all of whom came to this campus at different times and in various circumstances. But all of them left after having experienced the life-changing transformation that happens daily at Eastern Kentucky University. And just like the class of 2019, Dr. William Craig Turner will now have a chance to walk out of Turner Gate today himself 
with a new degree. It is now my honor to bestow an honorary doctorate of laws on Mr. William Craig Turner. Mr. Turner. Well, good evening. I do want to tell you that it has been my honor to be a part of this great institution, and I thank you for that. While here, I developed many lifelong friendships, both while as a student and later, later as a member of the Board of Regents. I was very fortunate to be the son of teachers. As I grew up, my mother and father instilled in me the need and the value of a good education. I knew all along that their expectation was for me to go to college. I think the real question was, would I graduate? But as an athlete, I learned that you must work twice as hard to keep up with your academic responsibilities. I believe that a good education is the gateway to the world. That is why the words knowledge, Wisdom, passion, and purpose are etched in stone at Turner Gate. It's the university's responsibility to provide people, tools, and resources to help you gain knowledge and wisdom. But it's your responsibility to work hard, learn, and then leave with passion and purpose. This is what will set you apart from the thousands of other students who are about to graduate this year. It will open doors and create opportunities for you, just as it did for me. I arrived at Eastern in August 1971, and I assure, assure you that I could have never dreamed that I would be standing here today receiving an honorary Doctor of Laws degree. But great things happened to me at Eastern. For the first time, I was really all alone and needed to make my own decisions and pay the consequences for my actions. I met the love of my life, Madonna, and we will soon be celebrating our 44th wedding anniversary. Throughout my successes and failures, my family has always been there to support me. Madonna and I have tried to instill the value and the true meaning of family with our own children. With me here tonight are my family members and EKU graduates, and I do want to take the opportunity to recognize them. My sister Dottie and her husband Rob Finley, my mother-in-law Eloise Spradlin, and of course my wife Madonna are all Eastern graduates. I'm also honored that my daughters, Bethany Denning and Megan Walson, along with their husbands, Garen Denning and Andres, are here in attendance. Unfortunately, my mother was unable to make it tonight, but with modern technologies, he's, she is home watching it online. Graduates, you will become a member of a larger family, the EKU family. Eastern will be here to support you in its massive network and unlimited resources that you will find at your fingertips. Remember, EKU will not forget you. Please don't forget EKU. I leave you with these words. Do your best every day, not just when needed. Don't be afraid, be courageous. Your true friends and family will always be there to support you. And you truly can do anything but you are the one that has to make it happen. Find your purpose, then live your life with passion. So graduates, go out and show the world what it really means to be a colonel. Congratulations and the best of luck. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Turner, and congratulations. Now, President Michael T. Benson and Interim Provost Dr. Jerry Pogoznik will proceed with the formal conferring of degrees on our graduates. All right, as Dean of the Graduate School, I'll present candidates for graduate degrees. Will the candidates for master's degrees please stand and remain standing? President Benson, these candidates have been approved by the faculty, and I present them to you for the conferring of their degrees. President Benson, Dean Erickson will present candidates for the undergraduate degrees. Will the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees please stand and remain standing? Will the candidates for the associate degrees please stand and remain standing? Bachelor's degrees, stand, come. <laughs> associate degrees, please stand and remain standing. <laughs> President Benson, these candidates have been approved by the faculty and I present them to you for the conferring of their degrees. President Benson, with the recommendation of the faculty, the dean and I present these candidates to you for the conferring of their degrees. Candidates, the long anticipated hour has come. You are here with the family and loved ones looking on. The faculty and officers of the university are gathered in witness and testimony to your conduct and purpose. Therefore, by virtue of the authority granted me by the Board of Regents of Eastern Kentucky University, and with the faculty's recommendation. It is now my pleasure to confer upon each of you the appropriate degree and do hereby vest each of you with the rights and privileges pertaining to that degree. Once verified by final grades, your diploma will be confirmed and acknowledged by the great seal of Eastern Kentucky University. Congratulations, candidates, and please be seated. At this time, will the college staff please escort the degree candidates to the stage? Mr. John Strada will now read the names of the graduates. Out of respect for the graduates and their families, especially those whose names are to be called next, I ask that you remain seated and hold your applause until all graduates have been recognized. School of Applied Sciences and Technology, Master of Science. Joshua Charles Dunn. Victoria Elizabeth Tillman. Theodore Calvin Herr. Byron Jackson Sims. Randall Bryant. Cody Brandon Baker. Christopher Cervantes.
Daniel Morgan Workman. Stephen Gabriel Brewer. Saad Amar Alkaldi. Jeffrey Abner. Shane Joseph Smith. Christian Onyamiche Ndife. Tammy Combs. <laughs> Teresa Lynn Cowan. Elizabeth Brooking Elliott. <laughs> Department of Agriculture. <laughs> Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Mark Charles Vogt. Michael Joseph Sanguini II. Stephen Matthew Harrison. David Michael Jaggers, magna cum laude. Sydney Jane Parker. Stephen Ross Ramsey. Larkin Hope Jones. Mackenzie Marie Mahon, summa cum laude. Bethany Christian Cruz, magna cum laude. Summer Lee Adams. Jennifer Sue Campbell, honor scholar. Tanisha Roma Wilson. Department of Applied Engineering and Technology, Bachelor of Science. Annetta Lynn Hendricks. Adam Holmberg. Dalton David Ammerman. Justin Bailey Lutz, Honor Scholar. Alan Davis Senate. Richard Corey Clark, cum laude. Bradley Allen Rohde. Connor Firth Volk, cum laude. Cameron Anthony Sidor, magna cum laude. Christopher Lane Hammonds. 
Trevin Lee Works. Austin Lee Burchett. Daniel Troy Turner, magna cum laude. Sean Michael Buckley. Matthew Aaron Hamilton, cum laude. Jacob Marcellus McInnes. Joshua Blake Belden. Nicholas Scott Clifford, magna cum laude. Quentin Blake Atkins, cum laude. George Colton Sensabaugh. Jacob Cole Francisco. David Walter Pressel. Ethan Scott Bean. Samuel John Quigney. Christopher Nicholas Schweitzer. Brittany Radwan. Andrew Martin Hunt. Breck Alexander Baker. Ian Michael Coe. Joshua Taylor Isaiah Boswell. Charles Alex Roughton. Tucker B. Houston. Jared Colton Bryant. Christopher Colton Hunter Nolan. Cody Everett Brown. Hunter Seth Stocker. Ben F. Hamilton II. Andrew Grant Parks. Douglas Gary Nicely. Austin Hunter Forbes, magna cum laude. Donald Ray Hunley II. Austin Lee Webb. Joseph Wyatt Shelton. Christopher Brian Wooten. Robert Glenn Dalton Eaton. James Wesley Oram. Coleman B. Stevenson. Keston Darnell Gagel. Thomas Dale Mundell, cum laude. Christina Yvonne Cook, cum laude. Asol John Thatcher. Kelly Patricia Wilhite, cum laude. Rebecca Jane Watson, magna cum laude. Andrew Lee Clark, summa cum laude. Raymond Peter Andres. Trent Alexander Grothaus. Sayed Hissam Porakbarain Jorui, magna cum laude. Emily Joy DeVries, magna cum laude. Maggie Elizabeth Smith, magna cum laude. Charles Alexander Niehaus. John Kelly Lovern. William Lance Sloan. Caleb Michael Cottle, summa cum laude. Sanzoni. Tony Mark Sanzoni. Brian Todd Priest II. Alan Eric Baker, summa cum laude. Brian Nathan Labicki. Jonathan Viler Farrell. 
Kyle Richard McClung. Emily Nicole Cannon. Emily Ann Osborne. Keely Ray Foley, magna cum laude. Michael Wayne Sandlin. School of Business, Master of Business Administration. Caroline Nicole Arthur. Amy Elizabeth Rowe. Lauren Ashley Butterfield. Win Jones Kasim Bernard Mbombo. Stephen Dylan Kelly. Travis Lynn Oldham. Casey Lynn Clark. Joshua William Kaplinger. <laughs> Department of Accounting, Finance, and Information Systems. Bachelor of Business Administration. Tyler James Newton. Michael David Hurt. Dylan Allen Crow. Lauren Victoria Schaefer, summa cum laude. Jacob Shelby Reed, cum laude. Christopher Marshall Stivers. Brianna Renee Cornett, magna cum laude. Bascom. Yeah, Bascom. Benjamin Allen Bascom IV. Devon. Corey Devon Glass II. Devon. Bruce Austin Bagshaw, cum laude. Jeffrey Kyle Baker. Sean Landon Searcy. Austin D. Templeton. Trey Allen Merida, summa cum laude. Troy Anthony Merida, magna cum laude. Catherine Alexis Anakin, Honor Scholar. Haney. Kimberly Renee Haney. Morgan Renee West. Fultz. Marjorie Elaine Foltz. Macy Caitlin Dennis, Magna Cum Laude. 
Alexandra Destiny Cummins. Lindsay Carol Brubaker, summa cum laude. Victoria Amy Michelle Maloney. Raven Lavon Forrest. Sebastian Alexander Zabala. Gregory Allen Gibson. Tika Kafley. Alexander Joseph Barton, Honor Scholar. Austin Gregory Moore, Magna Cum Laude. Cody Ryan Smith. Is it iron? Is it iron or iron? That's what I thought. Caroline Olivia Stir, Magna Cum Laude, Honor Scholar. Sean Alex Edwards, Cum Laude. Peyton Matthew Floyd, Magna Cum Laude. Benjamin Gabriel Wright. Samantha Lynn Garricky. Emily May Overby. Brittany Michelle Moss. Jody K. Muller, Magna Cum Laude. Lauren Page King. Carla Sarai Korea. Jessica Taylor Ralston, summa cum laude, honor scholar. Autumn Marie Gober, magna cum laude, honor scholar. Luz Mariel Oraque. Timothy Jonathan William No. Mary Kathleen Carlton. Brooke Noel Fields. Lakin Adams Clay. Patrick Warland, summa cum laude. Carter Joseph Dunn. Alexander Martin Vasquez Solis. Magna cum laude, honor scholar. Cameron Michael Cheek, cum laude. Douglas Anthony Desenko. Richard Jared Shainer, Jr., cum laude. Spencer. Spencer Neil Goyan. Paige Leanne Taylor. Quinton Alexander Livers, magna cum laude. Eric Scott Wagner. Alexis McKenna Katrin Williams, cum laude. Karan Dion Craig. Nash Logan Courtright. Austin Reed Parton. Bradley Noah Broughton. Zachary Austin Sipes. Noah Alexander Boggs. Alyssa Nicole Denham. Hong Mei Yao, summa, summa cum laude. Department of Management, Marketing, and International Business, Bachelor of Business Administration. Alyssa Ann Morrison. 
Andrea Lynn Tyra, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Renee Bice, cum laude. Chastity Nicole Taylor. Kaylee Lauren Blevins, magna cum laude. Casey Joanne Gross. Alexis Simon O'Bannon. Brittany Suzanne Royalty. Caitlin Michelle Riley, magna cum laude. Caroline Lynn Parker. Sydney Ann Tuberkte. Hannah Elizabeth Tyson. Marissa Renee Puckett. Caleb Harris Holbrook. Adam Tyler Amos, cum laude. Zachary Christian Amsler. Philip Andrew Webb. Matthew Clayton Salva. Joshua Daniel Luster. Michael Gaetano Patrizzi. Jeremy Lee Gregory, summa cum laude. Brett Aaron Gerbeck. Samuel L. Secard. Austin Matthew Bailey. Philip Andrew Lockhart. Colin Elliott Smith. Michael Patrick Berry. Zachary Sot Smith. Jacob Edgar Bennett. John Brennan McMullen. Mitchell R. Otten. Spencer James Carrico. Austin Tanner Gillespie. Jake Walsh Vandermosten, magna cum laude. Stephen Isaiah Burdine. Amber Lynn Sheffer. Vanessa Vivian Campbell. Phyllis M. Cotto, summa cum laude. Brooke Emily Russell. Haley Suzanne Gillespie. Grace Marie Goddard. Olivia Sarah Brock. Megan Ann Marbury. Jamie Lynn Schneider, Honor Scholar. William Corey Davis, Honor Scholar. Lucas Madison Brewer. Jarice Garrison. Deontay Garrison. Jarice Garrison. Michael Alexander Buckles. John Logan Turner. Seth Michael Dugan. Jonathan Christopher Caswell, cum laude. Glenn Marcus Kramer, cum laude. Cameron Scott Payton, cum laude. Trevor Lindsay Yates. Kelsey Ann Wolfsorn. Elizabeth Nicole Gillum. 
David Taylor Benton. Aaron Walker Flat. Jeremy David Hostetler. Rachel Jean Roberts. Polino Arturo Tuta. Mitchell Joseph Zamora. Kebele Dume. Cum laude. Laurel Yu. Sierra Jade McDowell. Rebel Yedo. Rebel Yedo. Rebel Yedo. Jose Manuel Rebel Yedo. Samuel Alexander Towns, cum laude. Shayna Greer Oakley. Landon Preston Hall. Abigail Lee Wilson, summa cum laude. Haley Brooke Hausted. Nicole Renee Grunstad. Stacy Marie Wallace. Kevin Sawyer Ward, summa cum laude. Todd Anthony Farrell. Samuel David Thorburn. Jacob David Wright. Shelby Cheyenne Turner, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Ann Butler, cum laude. Sarah Mackenzie Durham. Jolie Pierce Kozlowski. Madison Janae Harris, magna cum laude, honor scholar. Edvin Lindgren. Edvin, Edvin Lindgren, cum laude. Eric Axel Lindwall, magna cum laude. Amanda Lindahl, magna cum laude. Madison Marie Pierce. <laughs> Megan Jean Bandy. Hassan Mohammed Boharud. Dakota Lynn Willoughby. Jordan B. Saylor. Aaron Trevor Hicks. Quentin Chase Hobner. Brittany Nicole Webb. Alexis May Robinson. Daniel S. Miracle. Kimberly Reynolds Wilgis. Kimberly Reynolds Wilgis. Adam Renee Suniga. Kimberly Collins Thomas. Alexander K. Sparks.
Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause for John Strada for reading all the names tonight. Well done, Professor Strada. Graduates, the moment for which you have worked so long and so hard is now at hand. If you have not already done so, please move your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations. Graduates and, and guests, alumni are so very important in the life of a university, and we are blessed at Eastern to have the loyal support of more than 130,000 alumni. Here to represent the International Alumni Association, Ms. Amy Jo Gable will now offer greetings to our newest alumni. Graduates, today you are joining a very special group of individuals, men and women from all over the world who are alumni of this great institution. They have brought honor to Eastern by distinguishing themselves in their careers and in their communities by doing great work and serving others. In your time here at EKU, I hope that in addition to your academics, you have learned the importance of service. It is my hope that as you go into your communities and into the workforce, that you will give back with acts of service. Being a graduate of this institution gives me great pride, and I'm always sharing about the Campus Beautiful. I hope that you will find the opportunities to share with others about your experiences here, and that when you are settled into your career, you will consider giving of your time, talents, and treasure to your Eastern Kentucky University. Now, spring 2019 graduates, please stand. By virtue of the degree conferred upon you by the Faculty and Board of Regents of Eastern Kentucky University, I hereby declare you to be members of the Eastern Kentucky University International Alumni Association with all the rights and privileges of membership. Congratulations and welcome. You may be seated. <clears throat> Thank you, Amy Jo. Graduates, I certainly extend to each of you my congratulations and those of my colleagues. You depart this university with our best wishes and most sincere regard. You leave EKU a better place because of your service and your achievements. Your diploma is more than just a piece of paper. It's your ticket into the world of educated persons, an invitation to join for life the Eastern Kentucky University family. From this time forward, the name, the traditions, the influence of this university are freely yours, just as your achievements, your successes, indeed, the tenor of your life will reflect forever on EKU. To the class of 2019, you represent an incredibly small portion of the world's population as college graduates. You have been granted an amazing opportunity to acquire knowledge and experience. What you do with this knowledge and your education is the ultimate barometer and will be the standard by which your life is judged. So at the conclusion of tonight's ceremony, I would like each of you to find your mom or your dad or another family member or a friend and give them a hug of appreciation and let them know how pleased you are with how much they've learned while you've been away at Eastern Kentucky University. Now, moms and dads, 
These students are really great. Just send us a lot more just like them. We want them here to be colonels forever. As we conclude this evening's ceremonies, do join us for a reception right next door in the Fred Darling Gym, which is up and behind the, uh, the, the stand. We are pleased to share with you our very own college ice cream, BizTech Blast. It's a special flavor developed specifically for our college by Mad Scoops right here in Richmond. BizTech Blast is made from milk produced by EKU's, produced at EKU's Meadowbrook Farm. It's chocolate berry truffle ice cream, and of course, it's maroon. Once you taste BizTech Blast, you will bleed maroon and white the rest of your life, I assure you. Uh, <clears throat> Again, please join us for the reception to visit with family, friends, faculty, and staff. To add to the fun, Kentucky Pro DJ Jason Henniger will be providing a bit of party music. And don't worry about the calories or extra sugar in tonight's treats. Uh, we do have some sugar-free options available. As the recessional begins, please remain standing until the platform party has left the arena floor. Now, for one last time, let us recognize with a hearty round of applause Eastern Kentucky University's newest graduates.